Hey guys, Jesse here. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to use the new Kaltura video editor. Uh, so let's get started. Go to My Media. All right, and your videos will load up and then you can go click into the video that you want to edit. Scroll down until you see the Actions drop down menu and click Launch Editor. Once you're in the editor, you see a couple different things. You see the quiz option here, the editing option, and you have a little help question mark down here. And what this help question mark is, is all of the keyboard shortcuts for this editor. If you're a key command user, memorize this. It's gonna be different depending on the platform. Going back to the editor though, there's not much to do in the editor other than just trimming. You can trim the video by grabbing you have your standard playback function within that for the editing that's about as complicated as it's going to get for that but the quiz option is where this kind of stands out from other editors especially since this is integrated within canvas already once you pop into the quiz sections this cube over here on the left you'll notice there's three options there's details which lets you name the quiz and make a welcome message. You can have different types of options for showing your scores. You, if you don't want to show the scores after the quiz, or if you want to show the scores, if you want to include the answers so that they see what's correct and incorrect, you have that option. If you go to experience, this lets you do a couple different things. My favorite is skip for now. If the student is stuck on a question and it's a timed quiz and they just can't think of the question right then, they could skip for now to go to the next question and then the, that question that they skipped will pop up at the end after, all, after they've finished answering the other questions. So that's kind of a cool option. So to add an actual quiz question, you click this plus box over the video. And this basically pops up a question and answer space here. So, and there's actually a character limit to the question box here. It only fits 120 characters. So try to keep your questions under 120 characters long, including spaces in order to be able to actually get the full question in there. So let's just do a sample question. Okay, when was the Declaration of Independence signed? 1776, save. Okay, so when you're done with your quiz questions, you could say done. So let's check to see if the quiz worked right when we go to play the media. This will pop up indicating that there is a quiz embedded into this video. So you could say continue. Basically, as soon as the video starts, the quiz will start. When you are in creating the quiz question, wherever you create it is where the question will pop up in the video when they're watching it. Being that I just created this quiz question in the beginning with the playhead at the beginning of the video, that's why this has popped up now. But if you wanted it to be in the middle of the video, you would just pull it to the timestamp that you want and create the quiz question at that timestamp. And the video continues. It's a pretty cool tool, it's useful. I really like the quiz application for students. I think that that's really engaging. Have a good one.